All right, guys, so there you go. Let's test out Janie's sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hear her saying, I'm going to meet you at the hotel. My stomach dropped. I was like, are you serious? That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be eating a whole jumbo lobster, you guys. I have some snow crab here. I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm doing one new sauce today, so shout out to Jamie Anderson. Y'all ready? Then let's get into the video. All right, guys, I am back. So, as you can see, I have a whole jumbo lobster here, you guys. I got some snow crab, made some boiled jumbo Brussels sprouts, look how. Look how gigantic these things are, you guys. I also made some rolls, of course, because you know I'm going to make me some lobster rolls later. I have two sauces, one that I've done before in the past that I love, and I have a new sauce. This is from our viewer, Jamie Anderson. Thank you. So in this sauce, we have butter, lemon, garlic, Thai chilies, rosemary, lemon pepper, chicken broth, black pepper, and Old Bay, you guys. I am... So looking forward to dipping something in that because I've already tasted it and it's delicious. I'm going to tell you right now. So I'm going to get right into this cloth because y'all know that the last time I did, y'all know the last time I did the whole lobster, the cloth was amazing, okay? So I've been looking forward to this. Uh-oh. I should have got it prepared like I did last time, y'all. Ooh, this sucker. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so there you go. Let's test out Janie's sauce. I already know it's gonna be good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, it's so delicious. Mm. Ooh, this sauce is so good, girl. Oh. Oh, that's good. This sauce is great for people who don't want to try all the crazy stuff we do, but you want to venture out a little bit from the butter. Mm. That's really good. Oh, man. I'm a little upset about this lobster, y'all, because I feel like the place I got it from played me. This was supposed to be bigger than the last one I did. In no way, shape, or form is this bigger. So, we gonna have a chit chat. Little poo poo. Y'all need, need to send me the right size lobster and quit playing. Still good though. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try one of these Brussels sprouts and um, Jenny sauce. Cause you can pretty much dip anything in this sauce. Mm. I just steamed these for like 20 minutes, y'all. Perfect. Mm. So today, you guys, I'm going to be doing a story time. Mm. Mm. Of course, I got my jumbo snow crab here. I had to sneak these out of Tasha's stash. When I tasted Jamie's stuff, it immediately made me want to pull out some snow crab because I was like, oh, that, that sauce going to go good with snow crab. Mm. I'll put the ingredients up so you guys can see what's in it. And hopefully you guys try it out. I hope you like it. It's very good. 
Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, so. Got the whole face. Got the whole face, y'all. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, my goodness. So, y'all. I'm going to do a story time today about my first girlfriend y'all we talk to a lot of you guys on instagram and when we talk about you guys' story it's, it brings up memories of our own stuff you know mm. so then i was like so i was talking to somebody the other day and we were talking about how her um girlfriend was showing signs of cheating and it reminded me of an experience i had where I wasn't sure, but then little things kept coming up. So I'm gonna tell y'all about that. But what I do wanna say before I even get into that, from my experience, y'all, generally if my intuition told me something was going wrong, it usually was correct, sadly. I'm hungry and this thing playing. I'm, I'm bringing out King next time. I don't have time for this. Snow been playing too many games with me lately. King Crab is coming back next time, y'all. Hate when it breaks apart. Like, it really irritates me when it breaks apart. Mm. That sauce is, I don't know. That sauce is making it all better for me. Mm. But my snow crab lovers, look at this sauce, y'all. It's beautiful, smells great, tastes wonderful. I ain't even getting to my old sauce. But shoot, I can't get enough of Jamie sauce. Let me get into my story, y'all. Because I'm having... I know y'all want to sit here and watch me struggle opening crab all day. So, my first girlfriend. Mm. Oh, that's good. I was 19 when we met. She was 26 when we met. So, number one, I did not know what the hell I was doing at all. Okay? Very young, very naive. I kind of looked for her to give me, like, guidance almost for being in the relationship you know we had a lot of different things that went on in our relationship but this is going to be focused mainly on the indiscretions part of it so i'm saying in the first year i don't think anything happened i don't remember any signs during the first year y'all now after that Things went a little crazy, okay? She always seemed kind of like a flirty person, but I know everybody has a different personality, so it, it didn't bother me that much. I was just like, oh, that's her personality, whatever. Um, She was a talent manager and also a songwriter, like on the side. Like, she had another job, but her side thing was that, so she um would go to the studio a lot you guys i was like oh, okay no problem i don't even think i ever i ever was like i want to go i can't remember if i did i don't think i did I was like, okay go get your work on you know because at the same time i was trying to do a side thing with my regular job too i understood it we both were very supportive of each other's goals and stuff, so I didn't think anything about this, y'all. I wasn't like, is she really at the studio? <laughs> you know? I was like, okay, she said she at the studio, then she's at the studio. There will be many nights where she would come home, not even nights, mornings, where she would come home 6 o'clock in the morning. I know I remember the sun just coming up when she's coming home, too. I never thought anything about it. 
No, I was just like, that's what they do. They be up late. It seems like artists do stay in the studio a long time. I don't know why she had to, being that she was just a writer and manager, but I was like, maybe that's they do too. Okay, fine. Her and I, our regular jobs was at the same company. So she would also work late a lot, you guys. So called. We were in different departments though, so you know, I didn't know what she was doing, you know, but she, she would work late a lot. Now I noticed she was um started talking to one girl that she was managing a lot more than the others, y'all. So I was keeping a little eye on that, but I didn't notice anything inappropriate. So I never tripped out about her or anything at this point. One day, she was on her one of her late days of working. So I was like, um, I'm gonna surprise her. I think I took her some dinner. I was like, I'm gonna surprise her because we worked like a few blocks away from our home. I made her some dinner and um, took it up to her job. So I go up there and it's really late, y'all. I think she got off at like 3 o'clock p.m. And it was like 7 or 8 at this time. So I was like, oh, let me take my baby some uh, food. But I know she hungry. You know, she over here working late. I go up there. <laughs> my home cooked meal. Do, do, do. Walk in. Thinking I'm about to surprise my baby, y'all. Girl, I got to surprise. So I go. I'm like, she, her desk was a cubicle. So if you guys know what that is, it's like they have tall walls, right? So she couldn't see me walking in. So I'm walking in and I hear her talking very low, not in the business voice at all. So I start trying to tiptoe. I'm like, what? what's going on? Why is she talking so low? Almost at a whisper. So I walk, I get to the desk right in front of hers and I just sit there. I hear her saying, I'm going to meet you at the hotel. Y'all, I'm going to meet you at the hotel. My stomach dropped. I was like, are you serious? I mean, I wasn't even thinking that she was cheating. So it's like when you think somebody's cheating and you find out something, then it's a different feeling from when you don't even think somebody's cheating. Like, I wanted to throw up, pass out, kill her, all kind of stuff. All in one moment. I walk my ass around. I whooped her ass, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. I whooped her damn ass immediately. I didn't even say... What are you talking about? Who is that? Nothing. I walked around the corner of the off the cubicle and went off on her. <laughs> Immediately. I finally stopped. She's like, what you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? I was like, who the is that on the phone? And what are you talking about? She was like, that's so-and-so, the girl that she was managing. That's so-and-so. And I was just going to the hotel to pick up a tape or drop off a tape or something like that. Because they would share music and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you lying. I was like, number one, why are you whispering? Why are you in a sexy voice talking about I'm going to meet you at the hotel room? You don't talk like that to somebody that, that you only have a business relationship with. You don't talk like that. So she's like, no, it is nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing, right? The girl on the phone saying it's nothing. She, the girl is telling me it's nothing. I'm like, y'all lying. This shit don't even, this does, this does not sound right. The girl comes all the way. I would say a 30 minute, 30 to 45 minute drive. She drives all the way to where we are with her boyfriend. Boyfriend. To prove to me that this whole situation is only business related. So I'm like, okay, I guess I overreacted. The girl then came all the way to, to our, where we were with her man and said it was what it was, not, not anything um, fishy. 
I'm gonna go right by. A few months later, y'all. <laughs> now, it's crazy how things happen. I never looked for anything when it came to her. But things would always pop up to let me know what's really going on. One day, I'm outside on our balcony, y'all. Um, I think I was on my cell I had to be on my cell phone. I was on my cell phone. And for some reason, our house phone tapped into our cell phone so I could hear what was going on on the phone. She called the girl, you guys, left her a voicemail and was like, I love you. And it, it tapped into my cell phone. I could hear everything she was saying. So I'm on the phone and I hear ringing. And I'm like, what is going on? Next thing you know, the girl's answer machine comes on. Then I hear my girlfriend's voice telling her, I love you. I love you, y'all. Like, can you imagine how I felt? Like, not, oh, I see a message and you saying you're going to meet her somewhere, but I love you. Okay, so why are you with me? I was just like, wow. So I go in there, of course. Again, start going off. She wanted to tell me she didn't mean it like that. That the girl was going through something and she wanted to like, she was just being there for a friend. I mean, being there for her as a friend. I was like, why you got to be telling her you love her though? Like, what the hell? You didn't even say like, oh, you going through something. If you, if you need me, I'm here. No, you just was like, I love you. Girl, please. So I knew at that point. I was like, she lying. So... What I decided to do, y'all, I didn't even leave. I didn't even leave her. I I decided to cheat on her back. Like, I wanted to get her back. I wanted to get revenge. Boy, did I do a great job of getting revenge, y'all. See, I'm the type of person. I can't let stuff go. If you do me wrong, I'm an eye for an eye type person. Tasha is like, oh, just let it go. No, I can't let you go. I hold grudges. And I like to get people back. I like you to feel how I felt. That's my thing. I don't know if it's ever going to go away. I'm not, I'm not that evolved yet to where I can just let shit go. I'm trying, but I'm still not there. If Tasha cheated on me right now, best believe I'm getting her ass back before. Before we break up, I'm going to get her back so bad. I'm going to be up in here doing stuff in our bed. Okay. I don't play. Because you about to feel exactly how I felt. Anyway. This video is getting so long, y'all. I'm sorry it took me so long to tell you that part of the story. But I'm going to get into part two next time. I'm going to get into part two next time about what I did. Yes, sweet revenge, y'all. This was so good. The snow crab took over. I didn't even get into the lobster tail, so I'll get into that next time, y'all. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to get out this video. This shit way too long. I should have told the story faster. I should have ate faster. People hate me because I eat slow. I don't know why. I don't know why they be so mad because I'm eating slow. Oh, shit, stupid. Sorry. But anyway, um, when you want me to eat fast, you want me to just be like, Is this better? I can't even. <laughs> I can't even open this shit fast, y'all. I'm, I'm a slow eater, I guess. I never thought of myself as a slow eater until YouTube. But I guess I am. Oh, so it's just like no matter what, it's just always gonna be. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to eat no faster. I don't want to take a bite and just swallow it. I don't want to do that. I choose not to. Thanks. Anyway, y'all. I gotta go. Tasha is hungry. She's about to do her solo right now. I'm going to definitely be in that grabbing some chicken. <laughs> so I need to save a little bit of my appetite for that. If y'all enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment let us know what you guys think. Subscribe to our vlog channel. Link is in the description below. Please set your post notifications so also you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only good vibes.